Hey y'all, um, today is pattern number three for I Am Enough Quilt Along. And we are gonna be actually spelling the words I Am Enough right on our quilt. We're gonna do that with embroidery. But feel free to do your own thing, be creative, um, be yourself. But if you've never done embroidery and you've been wanting to try it, I'm gonna show you a really, really easy way of uh, spelling words with thread. Let's go get started. I feel the need to go over supplies, but in order to keep the video short, um, I'm going to just cover supplies in the blog post. So if you are watching this video and you haven't read the post, please go and read the post so you know why I'm using the supplies that I'm using. What we're going to do is we're going to learn how to um, embroider using a very thick chunky thread and, and a needle called a sashiko needle um, that also is um, made for this big chunky thread. And you'll notice that I've already taken my um, background fabric and I have already wrote the words I am enough on it. Let's go through how I did that. Um, you basically just do this. To um, figure out how to center it, you want to um, finger press right here, then finger press right there, and then you know where your center is, and then you put that center over this. But it's really hard to see this way, so what I always do is I take a long, clear um, casserole dish if you don't have a glass table um, and I put my phone up under the dish and then I put the paper and fabric on top of the bottom of the dish and this way I can see my letters very very clear and you want to do that with a pen or marker that fades when wet or air or just I mean, and you want to test that marker before you actually write on your fabric so now is the time to embroider we want to have um, a scrap fabric and you wanna put your piece over the scrap fabric. And this scrap fabric doesn't matter because you're going to trim it away when we're all finished here. So once you've got it like that, you're gonna get an embroidery hoop. Please feel free to use any embroidery hoop you want. This one is a four inch. You do want to get one that's a bit small. And this one is so small that I'm actually gonna to have to move it several times, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So we're gonna, put, we're gonna take the hoop apart the side without the clasp, I'm gonna put on the bottom. And then I'm gonna take the side with the clasp and I'm just going to slip it over everything. And then I'm gonna tighten it up just like that. So there are several threads you can use. Um, you, any quilting thread would be a great thread to use or you can use something thicker. This is a thread called pearl cotton and it's size number eight for this one just because it's thicker and being thicker means it's going to pop out a little bit more for me and it's going to be a lot uh, quicker to get done with um, I'm using the sashiko needle because it's it's a really really big needle I'm also going to be using a thimble um, so we're, first we're going to get our thread together that one was already cut we are going to take our thread and slip it through the needle it all the way through and then we're going to catch the two ends and we're going to tie those together so there's no correct place um, where to start you just start where you want to and you just want to take your needle into the back of your fabric and then just come up and I like to come up right on my line the way I can ensure that it gets covered And all I'm gonna do is go back down into my into my fabric, pulling it all the way through. And I like to come up in different places so that you can't see. Um, so all the, all my stops and starts are not in exactly the same place, and it kind of hides those a little bit for me. So, and I am, I am trying to come up right beside, um, where I, right beside my last stitch. This way I won't, I won't, um, I'll have it completely filled in. Now, if you do happen to get a little further over than you want to, it's okay. You can completely cover it up with a whole nother stitch. So 
So I'm ready to go to my letter A and I'm just going to go to it. Just like that. And I'm gonna repeat what I'm doing here over the whole block. I'm just gonna do this in and out, in and out thing repeatedly. When I get to the M, I'm, I'm going to undo my hoop and I'm gonna move it over and to do the middle part. And then I'm gonna do that until I can do um, the whole letters, but I'm not gonna make you watch me <laughs> do my whole I am enough. Um, I'll just show you pictures later. But if you have embroidery questions, um, I'm happy. I'm happy to help you in any way. So just send me a message or an email or anything, and um, I, I can help. So um, what I like to do is I like to take my embroidery and either go watch a movie, go sit on my front porch, just go and um, relax as you do it. And I promise you, you're going to enjoy it. Your fingers may feel clumsy at first, but if you keep at it, um, they'll get better and it'll start to feel like second nature to you. We are moving on to our maker's hand and I am really really excited about this um, this hand was was the the very first thought I had um, when I designed the quilt pattern um, so this block is very very special to me um, and what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've traced my hand from the paper I've given you and I traced it onto um, fabric and then I've cut my hand from the fabric we are going to do the hand exactly the way we did um, the color wheel in pattern one. You're going to use your Charlotte's Fusible Web and you're going to sew all around the edge and then stitch it on with any kind of uh, decorative stitch you want to or just a plain zigzag or really just anything you want. And then once we have these two together, then we're going to go back and, and add some fun embroidery to it. So um, if you have forgotten how to use the Charlotte's Fusible Web, then please go back to pattern one and follow um, along on that video to um, learn how to do it. So I've got some ideas about what I want to do with my maker's hand. And I went ahead and wrote 2018 um, using this paper because I wanted to remember the year on the quilt. Um, so I am gonna um, go over those letters with embroidery. But also I have, um, drawn out some uh, fingernails because I want to um, embroider those and I know I want to go over these little flying geese on this fabric I'd like to go over them with, them with embroidery thread too I definitely want to give my hand a ring but other than that I, I don't know so I'm probably just gonna spend a lot of time playing with this and if I come up with another idea I may just add it on later since I've already showed you how to um, fill in large bases like the, the fingernails on I showed you that on the I am enough block um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat myself there but I did think that maybe I should show you how to do really thin letters um, so I think we'll give that a try okay you didn't see all this because I was off the video doing it but it's taken me a really really long time <laughs> to pick a color for my 2018 and I think I'm gonna settle on blue because there's a lot of blue on my quilt um, so you may be not working with the spools like me um, you may be working with um, some some of those um, threads that look like this, like this. You may be working like that, and I've actually this is what this is. I've just taken it off one of these little spools and put put it on this card. But you may be getting something like this, or you may already have it, and you don't want to buy new supplies, and that's perfectly fine. But let me show you how this thread is a little bit different. Instead of being just the one thick thread. This is this is like a six ply thread. What you want to do is you want to separate it out into sets of three. And you're just going to pull it apart. You want to do this part really slowly. If you don't do it slowly, it'll get knotted up. All right, I'm gonna put one strand of three ply away and then I'm just gonna use this other three ply. To show you how versatile things can be, I'm just gonna use a basic embroidery needle and I'm going to thread my thread just the way I showed you a few minutes ago. So I've already got my hoop on my fabric. 
And then I'm just gonna come up my thread on the back of my hoop and I'm gonna come up right at that too. Well, if I can get it to get right at the, there we go. And like I said before, on curves, you wanna just take um, short stitches. And on this, I'm gonna show you a stitch called a back stitch. All right, so I came up at the tip of the two and then I went back down. But when I come up again, let me make sure you can see me. When I come up again, I wanna come up right around in here. You see how it's coming up away? I've left a little gap right here. And you come up, pull your thread all the way out, and then when I go back down into my my uh, fabric, I'm gonna go right there where this stitch st st started, or stopped, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna keep doing that. And when there's when there's more curves in my in my numbers here, I'm going to just take shorter stitches. I'll show you how easy it is um, uh, to tie off. So you just want to take your needle and pass it, pass it once all the way through, pass it through again. But this time you're making this loop here, and I'm just going to send my needle through the loop and pull. And I like to do that twice. So I got my 2018 done. If you've never touched embroidery, I think you will really like um, the way it feels. Uh, there's just nothing like it. So I really ex was thinking that um, after I, after um, y'all start posting your blocks on this pattern, that we are just really gonna see such a variety of hands um, in different colors and um, just everybody showing off their creativity. Cause this is just really one where you can just make it your own. Um, so um, I'm gonna finish this on my own time when I'm relaxing and stuff like that and I will show it to you when I'm all when I'm all done with it. Um, so let's move on. We're gonna do um, this applique the same way we're doing all the other appliques. Um, I've cut my letter out from one of these pages. You can just get the letter that you want and there's actually three different size letters you can do. I've, I've chosen to do the biggest letter but this white See, can also be a size and then the little one can be a size too. So feel free to use any size you want. I have put um, my uh, paper piece right here on top and I've used a chalk marker to go around since I have black fabric. And then I am just going to cut it out. I will not make you watch me do this. So I wanna find the center. I'm gonna fold this way, finger press. I'm gonna fold this way finger press and then I've got my middle marked maybe you can see it that's the very middle of my block and that is exactly where I'm gonna line up my M for Melanie before I actually line this um, we need to go and do our um, fusible web just like we've already done on the edges of this one so when I come back to you I'm gonna already have it fused to the fabric and then I'm gonna go ahead and have it stitched around the edges so let me go do that. Yeah, I'm just dying over these strawberries. <laughs> They're so cute. So I've gone ahead and gone around the edges with just a simple zigzag stitch. I hope you can see that. Okay, I am just, I'm just not over this. I am not over this. I just love strawberries so much. This is so cute. Um, the point of all these little blocks that we're doing this, this time around is, is, is to learn how to go slow. So whether you are doing these one at a time or you have got all the prep work, prep work done for all three and then you're just going to spend some time sitting, the point is just to, to spread this out over a matter of several days or maybe even the whole two weeks, not to rush it. Um, take your time, uh, make changes as they come to your, your, your mind, um, just, yeah, just enjoy going slow, one stitch at a time, um, there's no rush. Oh my god, I'm dying, I, I swear. I don't care what the fabric is. If you're printing it, strawberries on fabric, I'm gonna buy it. I'm so happy. I love my piece. I hope you love yours. Enjoy your week of slow sewing.